Hello everybody, my name is Pazu. This is Ken Follett, The Pillars of the Earth. Super excited about this game. This is one of my favorite books of all time. Favorite novels of all time. This game is based on the book. Very, very faithfully adapted. That's what I heard. So yeah, I can't believe I am playing this game right now. Looking forward to it for a long time ever since they first announced it last year this is book one a part one of a three-part series yeah from the ashes so it covers chapters one to seven three parts as you can see Alright, make sure the subtitles are on. Subtitles, not here. <laughs> uh, language? Subtitles, thank you. Alright, here we go guys. Let's play. Do you want to play the tutorial? I suppose so. Even though I am an expert in adventure gaming, but we'll yeah we'll take a look yes maybe a story related. Current location cathedral. Walk by left clicking where you want to go. Simple enough. Move your cursor around the room when changed to that symbol. Click the right mouse button multiple times to think about the objects, like the window. Massively crafted. Sally knows what she is doing. Strange when your children surpass you. Wow, this is interesting, guys. So those are my thoughts. My inner thoughts. To see all the objects, characters, and exits you can interact with, click and hold the mouse wheel or press and hold the space bar. Aha! Options menu or the lower right-hand corner. Move your cursor around the room when it changes to that symbol. Left-click to interact. The tools. Can we pick them up? Thank you. Those are builder tools. Alright, maybe that is a spoiler. <laughs> I didn't read the book. Uh, your inventory display at the bottom of the screen on the left hand side. Click on your tool to equip them. Click. Your tools are now equipped. Left click on something to use them on. Uh, that statue, the gargoyle. To work on the gargoyle, left click when the white dot is within the green area. Wow! A mini puzzle. That is a masterpiece. Hello? Oh, she's Sally. Talk to Sally, current location, cathedral. My daughter, Sally, as stubborn as me, and as stubborn as her mother. <laughs> oh, I guess that runs in the family. Left click to choose your answer. Later in the game, you can also skip lines of dialogue by clicking left. Wave to get your daughter's attention. Calm to get your daughter's attention. I think we should wave. Let's close it that way. If you want to stay silent, wait for the time to run out. Ooh, tell your daughter you will return later. Ask your daughter to come with you. Yeah, come with me. Even though I have no idea where we're going. Just come with me, daughter. When your cursor changes to the right hand row, right arrow, click to explore another area. Double click on the exit to speed things up. Double click. Shiring, England. Eleven thirty-five. So I guess that was the end of the tutorial.
This should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. Oh, I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape? Maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. They look damn. Yeah, this is snowing right now, so... Wedge firewood. It's not going to work. Yeah, it should be dry enough. I told you. Really? They don't look dry to me. All I need is a few good sparks. Clean and steel should do the trick. It's a good that I always have some with me. You know, these inner thoughts, they are like hints. <laughs> oh, come closer, dear. I'll keep you warm. Ah, poor family. Okay, let's see if we can find a sparky or not using our flints. What's the matter? Just use the flint stones, Tom. <laughs> I know what I've been doing, Agnes. My dear Agnes. Have faith in me. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters. Something that stands for eternity. Or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time? Or would you keep on looking? Well... I'll be glad to stay. I'd be glad to stay. Would you now? Just promise me you'll think about it. We need to find some proper water. Proper water? Can we just melt some snow? We have a fire right now. You just collected a clue. Clues work like items. Use them on characters to talk about them. And use them on Maybe objects. Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred! I'm joking. Don't listen to me. How dare you, Alfred. <laughs> so use them on objects to ponder how the clue and the object might be connected. So, ah, an icon. They find some proper water. So I can use these icons on people. Can we Stupid try it out? Why did it have to come down just now? Should never have left. I'll be right back. I know. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's go somewhere else and let's go find the water. Take my staff with me. It's the first two one would need to build a new church. Really? You used to make sure the construction faces east. Hungry? I'm fine. Its wolf has wiggered. But it would still do the deed. If I ever get to use it again, that is that is interesting. Is it a magical staff? <laughs> okay, proper water. 
I wish we had stayed. They have no work for your father. So what? I can work. You're a mason, just like Tom. If he can't find work, you can't either. Yeah, because I'm better than you, Alfred. One of the last things I've ever had to sell yet. We take the pods. Can we put some snow onto the pod? Maybe clean snow. Can I get a job when we arrive in Shiring? You're a little girl. You can all help. We'll get through this together. Can I use this onto the pod? Uh, okay, no. I'm looking for a hot spot. Hot spot on the snow. Or do I just use a pot here on the fire? Shouldn't you get water first? <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, Alfred. I'm looking for a hot spot. It's our space bar. That is our clue. So, clue inventory. It only has that uh, water, water icon. What about the staff? The fire. Not much here, not much hot spots. Let's talk to Martha then. Those are our last tulips. If I don't get work tomorrow, we will have to stop begging. And how's my little girl holding up? I don't have time for holding up. I have to cut up our dinner. You're a steadfast lass, Martha. Thank you. <laughs> wow. She's a good girl. I like her. Alfred? Alfred. What? Aren't you supposed to get water? I am not keen on eating rotten leaves tonight. Alfred! You ungrateful boy. Alright, let's go him then. That will teach him some manners. Right, I've had it with you. In times like these, we need to support each other. So be nice. Do as you're told. Yes, mother. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow, a journal update? Because of that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that does, still doesn't help us with water. Oh, I can pan the screen, right? Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> water, water, water. And by the way, the graphics looks amazing in this game. The backgrounds, the panning backgrounds, the character designs, they look Amazing. Deep in the woods. A frozen puddle. Okay, that is good enough for me. Can we get a few pieces of ice out? Houses and sheds. Thank you. Whoa, oh. Puzzle. Walls and roofs. I'd be glad. I should be glad. What is it, Tom? Tom, what's keeping you? A dream. A dream of building the grandest cathedral in the world. Alright, we got water now. Yeah, the music. The music is also amazing. Pesky beast. Uh, shoot. Strong granite. Uh, if broken down properly, this would make a wonderful porticus. Porticus what? Porticus rock? Or just another plain boring door? <laughs> it's like a stone circle here. Dirty snow. Plain snow. Dirty with chromac. There must be something better. Yeah, that we don't need.
Yeah, this game is by Daedalic Entertainment. So, as expected, the graphics, the sound, the music, the voiceovers, they are top notch. Yeah, this developer is quite capable in making masterpieces. Um, did you think about what I asked you? Well, uh, I might never build a cathedral. I will take the job. Uh, okay, we do have to dream sometimes. Yes. I might never build a cathedral. Is that so bad? Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Well, we'll start with the walls, of course. <laughs> Not the roof. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room, like a cave. <laughs> Next, we put in windows. So of course you may want some light coming in. Windows? Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. Oh, you are right, you are smart. <laughs> we do need some doors, but uh, let me ask you that. So, what do you suggest? Doors, of course. Right. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that, and have so many windows. So what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything. Perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry. Well, I will give them hope. It will give them hope. Like this? <laughs> Mama? Oh, that's not good. So blood. The baby is coming. But it's not Jean. Have your waters broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Well, look at all the blood. Oh boy, what do we do? Help her, help Agnes. Uh, this is all my fault. She trusted me to provide for her. And now she has to give birth in the forest in winter. Okay, I think we should um, look around. Find something that is useful. Children, they're almost as scared as I am. They're almost as scared as I am. Yes. Children? We need hot water. Alfred. Uh, get some warm water. Get more water. Take snow if you must to make it warm. Right. What can I do? You can... 
Uh, we're going to need some reeds soon. Yes. Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. Actually, I'm not quite sure what that is for, but uh, that sounds useful. <laughs> and Agnes. Uh, wow. Tell her a story. Ease her mind. Remember when Martha was born? And the Lady Isabella acted as midwife. You were building a chapel. And you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. And she said, that drunk old witch will let her deliver a little wolf on pups. And she took us to her own chamber. And poor Lord Robert could not know the bed until Martha was born. Oh, your hands are cold. Yeah, I could warm them for you. No. Stay here. Please. The water's warm now. Put it next to me. <laughs> Alright, I hope I'm doing everything right. <laughs> I have no experience in this, guys. Uh, can we tell her another story? I'd say for a year as bad as this one, we've managed quite well. You lost your work, and then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? We're going through hell. Oh no. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. You expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, Alfred, uh, do something else, please. Alfred. Go and collect more wood. Let's have a bigger fire. More wood? Do what your father tells you. Y yes, Mother. Hold on a cold hand. Is that a good idea or what? I don't know. I'm not sure, guys. Right, what can I do to help? Cover me. Cover you with cold hands? Can I warm my hands? I want to warm my hands. Look around. Warm my hands. Please. Thank you. <laughs> I put more wood on the fire. Can you feel the warmth? Yes. It's not long now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to hold her with my warm hands. Oh, cloak, cover you! Ah, let me cover you. Oh, almost missed that cloak. Hold her. I'm here with you. I know. It's coming! Help me, Tom! I can see it. I think we did well. It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. Aww. A new addition to the family. Look at that. You're still bleeding. It's alright. It will stop soon. Are you sure? Tom. Yes. You make a fine midwife. Did you know that? Do you remember the night I came to you? In your lodge? When you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. 
build a beautiful cathedral for me. Oh no. Oh no. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes. Agnes, wake up. There really isn't anything we can do, you know? Wow, this is so amazing, everybody. I'm so happy with this game. <laughs>